This is an internal combustion engine from 1886. It really is an early example of a technology that has fundamentally shaped our world over the last 130 years. But that history is now coming to a close and a new future is being written. For legacy car makers in Europe and elsewhere, they're struggling to find their place in it. Some say they've been complacent because the glamour attached to their design history has sustained demand. True or not, there has been widespread emotional resistance to abandoning storied European brands and their noisy internal combustion engines. Do you think we'll see the collapse of one of the legacy car makers in the near future? And what do you think that would? I mean, it's would very be? sad. I think I think we I think it's inevitable. I don't think in the near future, those companies are so enormous and so entrenched that it will take a while. But I think it's inevitable that if they don't adapt, then they just can't. You know, the arguments about whether the future is electric are basically non-existent anymore. It's boring. Who cares? You know, the future is electric. Electric motors are just, so, as a machine, they are so much more efficient. And if it's OK with people to import toxic fossil fuel that costs a lot of money and then refine it and then transport it and then put it in a car and then burn it once for a few thousandths of a second, and then it turns into a gas that's toxic. If that's okay, then I won't argue with you. Mm. you know, but I think the arguments against that old technology now are overwhelming. Mm.